What's up guys, today in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to add your collectibles and decorate your um, your basically your virtual arcade room on Pinball FX. Uh, Dracky Barks gave me this idea and I thought it was great. Uh, it's not complicated but I figured you know what I'd just do it myself and then you guys could uh, you know um, try it yourself if you have some collectibles. Uh, these collectibles uh, different kinds of like toys, figures, posters um, that you can collect by simply playing each table and um, and getting enough points. So the more you play the table, um, the more uh, chance you'll have at unlocking all these collectibles. So basically, you just go here to collectibles tab, and um, right here is the poster, right? Um, and these are all the collectibles that I have from the Williams collection. There are others. Uh, you have all these um, different kind of uh, tables. And if you play a lot of them, you'll have them. But you can see that I only play, you know, I mostly stick to Williams. So <laughs> this is what it is, right? Um, so say, you, you know, you can, you can look through them, see how they look. I really um, keep mind at the Adams Family because uh, I just recently watched the Adams Family Values movie and the first one. So, and I recently just finished reading uh, a memoir written by uh, Angelica Adams, who played Morticia Adams, um, and she's just a phenomenal person from what I've read. Very smart, very elegant. Um, you know, her, her dad was a uh, director, John Houston, and so she comes from a line of directing and acting. Very, um, she's a well-read person, and she's traveled a lot, and it really shows. Um, but, so the thing is with here is, um, then after this, to get out of the room, I'm, I have to press, I feel like you have to press escape to go back to this part. Um, it's probably different if you're using controller, but uh, you can see here all the blue stuff you can add. Um, so if we go to right statue, and then let's go to the right sh right uh, shelf, right shelf here. Okay, so we got like three shelves here. Um, so you can see here. Look at this. I have uh, like I have a lot of William stuff. Um, I'm not sh okay. So if you're already using one of these, like toys on another shelf, you can't do a, you know, add a second one. So keep that in mind. Um, so let's add this guy here. You can even inspect him. You know, kind of look at the toy itself, cousin it right here. Um, I think we if you can rotate it, will it stay like that? No, it's just okay. Um, and then you can click here. You can add another one. Uh, they don't. I don't think they all have to be the same, like Williams. But there was an error. I remember. Yeah. See the theme difference. Um, it seems like you're trying to replace a collectible from a different theme. Yeah. So um, that's the only thing that kind of was weird that you can't mix and match. Um, so like you, you can't have a Williams and then a Star Wars on the same shelf, which is kind of weird to me. I feel like it shouldn't matter where you put them <laughs> or if you mix them. <clears throat> but let's add more here. Let's add this castle here from Medieval Madness. We can click here. We can add the alien. We can add the, the dog here. Um... Switch right alt. Let me see something here. Oh, that's just okay. So, say you're happy with that. Then it's here. Then it saves. And then you can go here. You can add more. You can add this troll uh, from Medieval Madness. A picture um, from Mar Attack from Mars. The Yeti from Whitewater. <clears throat> I already have that used. 
<coughs> um, oh, here, a circus. I wonder if I can add some. If I have any. And I think a lot of people just like collecting these too. Um, just collecting all the collectibles is a fun kind of mission that you can do. Um, so we do that. Go to our third shelf. <clears throat> As you see, Zen originals. I have some here. Let's let's see if we can. So we add that. <clears throat> These are all from the Zen Originals. Let me to go here. You have to click on the next one. And then if you're happy, you just press escape. It saves it. And look at that. Um, we have the left shelf here. We can add more stuff. Uh, let's see. Do I have a lot of... <clears throat> South Park pinball. Look at that like cardboard. Love that. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't think I can add anything else. Like if I try to add this, see. <clears throat> so if you um, if you want to fill your shelves up, you know, make sure you have it enough, like collectibles from what you're trying to fill it with. Uh, or else you, you just have a blank space there. Um, so, look at Marvel, I have quite a lot here. Oh, look, you have a Deadpool pinball table. Look at that. Okay. And then our third shelf. I wonder if you can, I think you can add more Williams if it's a separate shelf. So let's see here. Yeah, ooh, I like that. So if you really like Williams, <clears throat> there's a pot bumper. Love that. So if you really like Williams, you could basically, I think there's enough where you could have Williams on all your shelves. Yeah, you could probably do that, you know. Because I, I still don't think I have all the Williams collectibles um, but yeah if you really wanted to you could decorate your room so that you have all Williams um, there's even as you can see here a left poster slot um, so it's really up to you how do you want to do it I like uh, Brad and Pinbot since uh, Leon was mentioning that I think I want to do a tournament for this next week. Um, here's a statue slot. I don't think I have any more statues. <coughs> so I don't have anything to put there, but I have to unlock some more to add that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I pretty much, you know, edited what you can. There's also the carpet. Um, since we're doing uh, Hurricane, I figured I'd put it into this one, right? And then it should save automatically. So, like, if you go to shop <coughs> or collectibles, you should be able to see your room. Um, I think you can even decorate the tournament room. Yeah, you can even decorate the tournament room as well. Um, look at this. It's kind of crazy, actually, that you can do all this. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Wouldn't you love to have a room like this? Like an arcade room with a vending machine. Um, we can add your trophies here. Universal Cups. So you can get these cups from doing the tournaments that are hosted on uh, Pinball FX. And I thought I had more uh, diamond, but uh, 
Let's see what else we can add here. Oh, you can even just add more stuff to your collection for more room. Which is kind of cool. So there's like a lot of shelves where you can just kind of do what you want. If you want it to be all Williams. The world is your oyster in that sense, right? The gift of yeah. <clears throat> just trying to fill out everything here. Of what I have. See, I have so many Williams that I could just fill up all these shelves with Williams. Some cleats, soccer cleats there. Um, but my only thing is that you can't mix and match, which I don't know why that's a thing. Um, and you have these individual oh highlighted cups, so I don't. I need to unlock these. Um, but once you do, you can uh, add some here. So you go click here. Let's add more Williams. I'm a Williams type of dude. So yeah, I mean, look at this. I mean, there's so much you can do and edit, customize to really bring this, uh, you know, your arcade, virtual arcade to life. And so that when you open the game, you have something that, you know, that you've collected and you can show it off. So every time you open the game, um, instead of it looking like a plain room, it's it's your design. Um, thank you to Dragon Barks for the recommendation uh, of this. Um, so yeah, just remember that um, if you want to, you know, uh, get more collectibles, just play the tables, the ones that you like. And the only downside of this all is that you can't mix and match. So if you have a shelf of Williams, it has to be Williams. Um, or if you have a shelf of Star Wars, it has to be Star Wars. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you once again for the recommendation of this video. Well, nothing's too complicated about it, but I figured it's just nice to show it off. Uh, and also something that is really cool that Pinball FX has is these tournaments or these events that you can click on the free ones and you can get rewards here as well. And just participating in the events, um, you can get more trophies, as you can see here. So there's always competition. There's events. These are from, you know, from Zen Studios. Then there's tournaments from players. So it's like, it's amazing, and I love it. You know, there's never not enough, you know, you can never get enough pinball, I say. So without further ado, um, I'll catch you guys later. And one more thing, uh, don't forget that if you want to play this tournament I have going on, it's open. So uh, I got, how many attempts do I have? I have five attempts left. Tough table. It's uh, Williams Hurricane. And um, yeah, the here is the uh, ID Q8N7. And uh, after it's over, I usually go over the scores, the leaderboard, talk about it, and then I set us up for the next tournament. Um, tough table, tough, tough table. As you can see here, I spent five attempts just to get 14 million, so... Um, yeah, but hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, I will catch you guys later. Take care.